Joe, you ready? Um, yes, I'm all set. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hello. I love you. Laura, this is my Joanna. Hello. She's the new designer that we've had working with us. She's pretty. You never mentioned that. What's that supposed to mean? Is she going to Philadelphia with you and Andy tomorrow? There's nothing going on, Joe. I really gotta go. Joanna. Alex, I can't believe this. Do you have time for me later? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You know your timing's nuts. Why? Are you getting a divorce? No. Hey, where are you? Oh, I'm just, um, I'm grabbing a bite. Are you out? We're still with the clients. Would you like another? I'd love another drink. Okay. Just not here. Ah! Alex! Hello. How are you? I had no idea you were seeing someone in New York. Oh, no, we're, we're just, we're just good friends. Have you ever been with someone else since you've been married? No. So, in keeping with the themes of this film, mm -hmm. is monogamy all it's cracked up to be? I don't know, but I love that the film poses that question, and it's so thought-provoking. And I think, um, you know, someone brought up to me, oh, you're playing the seductress in this. And I said, no, I'm not. It, everyone is uh, doing their own version of seducing at one moment in the other, or the other in this film, which is really makes it so interesting because it's so in the gray. There's no black and white in this movie, and I think the audience can really relate to one of the four characters, at least one of the four characters. Um, at some point in their life anyway. And what I really got excited about was uh, uh, my wonderful writer-director, Massey Tajadine. Um, she allowed me to just kind of go against the role as written, and we, I came up with the term, we desexified her. I made her a real person, not about hair and makeup, um, not about uh, showing any overt sexuality. Um, and that made it exciting for me because I definitely had a couple of lines there that were difficult to play against, but I did that and my director allowed me to do that and make her real. It's ironic because I read somewhere that you aspired to be a nun. Yes, when I was very little, I used to want to be a nun. I mean, I'm talking like five, five years old. I wanted to be a nun and, um, and I grew up in a very lower middle class family. We didn't have much, we weren't poor, but we didn't have much for, you know, we didn't have luxuries. And my mother, I would always promise her I was going to buy her a big house and a car and all that stuff. And my older sister was such a smart ass. She said, how are you going to do all that if you want to be a nun? Nuns don't get paid. And I was like, what? Mortified. So my dreams of the convent died that day when I was about, yeah, eight. <sighs> so it's one day, one day. I, I mean, I guess not. I guess now I'm screwed. So it's all about the money. <laughs> no, I never said that. It was all about saving my mother. That was my goal. And I bought her a house about eight years ago. And ugh, there's no better feeling. And giving back to your mom was the best. Oh, I know, absolutely, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, what's your next project? I just finished a film directed by the ama another amazing female director, Patricia Riggin, Mexican, another Mexican import, import that's amazing. I don't know what they're doing in Mexico right now, but the directors there are just like it's it's amazing the talent that's coming out of Mexico. Um, it's this wonderful little film of a, it's a coming of age story. It's me and this uh, little girl, um, and I can't wait to for that to be out. The, What's that called? Well, it's called Anxiety, but it, that's not the title. That was just the working title through production that's going to be renamed. That's why I, I'm not sure, but it's a wonderful, wonderful story. What's your relationship to the little girl? I'm her very messed up mother, and, um, and she is my she's my little perfect angel who starts rebelling against me because I just, I, I'm, I'm a mess. I play a very flawed character. Mm -hmm. It was very fun to play a, a real human person. What, what are the challenges of playing a mom for you now? Um, what do you mean now? At this stage of your career and, and, and... I played a mom, my first big thing, I played a mom in training day. I was 25 and I played a uh, a mom then, a messed up mom, oh God. I've only played a mom twice and both times they've been uh, messed up mothers, so I don't know what that says, but, um, but yeah, the same challenges as any character. You have to break down a character, find where they're human, find their obstacles, and um, 
on the yeah, your humanity and how they survived. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why aren't you writing? You mean your book, Joanna. What happens? <sighs> Think of Joanna. Remind me why it didn't work. Geography and timing. You came after. So you were with him because he came first? He did. And I love him. And I love you too. Are you happy? With what? With your marriage.